Hey, Nate, I'm gonna shave your face. Hello, my friends. It's been so long since we last talked face to face like this. Just to recap, I'm Beth Hoyt. This is My Damn Channel Live, and today is Wednesday, November 28th. We've got a really great show for you. It's got a lot to do with facial hair, not mine. Mike O'Connor from IFC's show Whisker Wars is here. Epic beard time, people. Also, I'm gonna shave Nate's face because No Shave November is ending. And you get to vote during the show on which beard shape. And then I'll do it before your very eyes. Nate is so scared. It's gonna be so fun. Get in the chat, stay in the chat. Right, so last week we were away for Thanksgiving and now we are back. Did you have a good Thanksgiving? If that's a holiday you celebrate, do we celebrate Thanksgiving? Or do we, we just like eat it? It's a tradition, we tradition it. Thanksgiving for me, it's like, it's not like a woo. Although this year my Thanksgiving did end in a dance party. Was it because I wanted to work off some pie or because Robin came on? Both. But like I said, it's been a long time since we talked, so let's do that right now. What do you guys wanna know? We have a comment. Yay, let's get this going. A stout 712. I was gonna ask you a question, but I wrote your Twitter handle as the best Hoyt. I mean, it's true, right? Aww. I am the best Hoyt. Um, I ask my mom that all the time. I'm like, which of us is the best Hoyt? And she's like, you boo boo. Don't tell my brother and my sister that. Um, but it's true of all my cousins and aunts and uncles and people, all the people named Hoyt. Terrible. We're all good, Hoyts. Um, but thanks for that. That's fun. Beth is a fun thing to pun off of best. Uh, okay, here's another comment from YouTube. Slappy Lawrence, how much crap did your mom give you at Thanksgiving dinner when she brought out the mashed potatoes? Were they instant or homemade? Good memory. Thanks a lot. I've been trying to rub that over and not talk about it again with my mom. Um, I don't know if any of you guys saw that episode when I called my mom out for making instant mashed potatoes and she texted me in the middle of the show and said I lied like a rug and that she does make potatoes from scratch. Um, well, I avoided this, this year because I went home, but I flew back on Thanksgiving Day and went to my friends here in New York City for Thanksgiving dinner. So um, I didn't have her mashed potatoes, but I'm sure that she spent all day mashing them handmade like the best Hoyt that she is. Well, there's more where that came from, like I'll show, um, or there will be if you make it happen. So let's all show ourselves why a live show is more fun than any other, because we get to hang out like this. And because I may or may not cut Nate when I shave his face. Okay, when we get back, we'll show you the options to vote on. But right now, I'm very, very pleased and proud to present the world premiere of a brand new My Damn Channel original, John Friedman Internet Program. It's the John Friedman Internet Program on your worldwide bed. I did not account for this much shitting. It's the John Friedman Internet Program on your worldwide bed. There's shit everywhere. <laughs> Hi, I'm Eugene Merman, and you're watching My Damn Channel Live, for some reason. Alrighty, I'm here with Nate, floor manager extraordinaire and vlogger exceptional, <clears throat> low fives all around. His mm -hmm. vlog is called OK Nate, you should check it out later. Because right now, I said I would shave Nate's face, it's gonna happen, mm -hmm. in like a matter of minutes, Nate, you look very nervous, your beard does not hide your fear. You just said that I, you were gonna maybe cut me. Yeah. That's who knows? Uh, will you tell everyone, <laughs> in case they Excited. don't know, what's been going on and why you look kind of homeless? Sure, uh, Beth, I look like a reformed hobo mm -hmm. because I was challenged uh, during our Hurricane Sandy Google Hangout show. A reason to write home suggested that I participate in No Shave November, and I gladly accepted. Mm -hmm. So for the entire month, I haven't shaved, trimmed, or done anything to maintain up here. And I gotta say, I'm no, it's no Mike O'Connor beard, but uh, I, my face did its best. It did. You need a lot more time to get a Mike O'Connor beer, but you guys will see that later. Yeah. Wait until you see that. Okay, it's all been leading up to today. You're growing this out. When you graciously donate your face for our entertainment, mm -hmm. which leads me to your role. You get to vote in the chat on which look I should attempt. Nate, I've narrowed down your options to three looks. Oh, um, I hope you like them. They are, them. number one, the Honest Abe. 
Oh. So we can go for that look. Yeah, historical accuracy. Mm -hmm. mm. The, the opposite of Movember, if you will. Yeah, anti-mustache. Yeah, okay. The Hulk Hogan is number two. Oh. There we go. Oh. Wow. Uh, I don't think I have the bright enough facial hair, but I mean, well, we, we can do our change best. the color. Yeah. But I don't know if you have enough hair growing in right here to do the Hulk Hogan efficiently. Well, we can try. If you have a thin, he has the, he has a thick, thick side I there. I think I would need like steroids to get as much. Facial you gotta do what you gotta do to get that yeah. look. So okay, well you can still vote on Hulk Hogan, and we can make that happen. Okay. Work. Three, the Guy Fieri. That's Ooh. a good one. Look at that. That's like the little That's... dippity do on the bottom. Oh my god. You can like dunk that in stuff. Do you have like I don't a, know why? Do you have like a bowling shirt ready for me afterwards? You or betcha. Something? You bet Okay, we got that. We're gonna we can make that happen. Yeah. Well then we'll then we'll bleach this part, oh, which I hear boy. is great for your skin. Mm-hmm. Wow. Which one do you hope to get? Uh you know, I I don't They're know. All great I've never had one like that. Okay, so, so anyone is good. It'll be new. To all right, me, we have a comment. Way from you guys, from And Then There Were Cats. Is the bald spot still there, Nate? Let's check out the hole. I knew you were gonna ask that. There it is. There it is. I just touched it. Thanks, genetics. I thought maybe like you were gonna start speaking a different language or something. When what? I, I don't know, or something would happen, or I don't know. There's no like secret, it's not a kill switch or something. Wouldn't that be great if you had a hidden talent when I is that pushed your button? No, if there was one, you don't. You don't have one. Turns out Nate doesn't have a hidden talent when you push his beard hole. Nope. I think we should give your beard a proper goodbye. Do you have anything you want to say um, to your beard? Yeah, I, I don't want to get too sentimental. Yeah, but me either. I will say this. But I'm here. Okay, beard. I don't mean it as a pun when I say you've grown on me these past 28 days. You've protected a small part of my face against the elements. You've surprised me by reminding me that I have red hair, kind of. <laughs> And best of all, you've helped turn me from a slacker into something productive. I understand you better now, Mike. I get why you love beards. So I'll say goodbye to mine. We'll always have that month of Instagram photos to remember you by. Wow, Nate, that was really Yeah, touching. I don't know where that came from. That was something, something down deep. Maybe that's what that button pushed, some so. sentimentality. It was beautiful. Thanks. So that was a proper goodbye. And oh, so yes, you took a photo every day on Instagram. Mm -hmm. What's your Instagram? So they can follow uh, it's, you? Uh, it's Nate Bennett. It's Nate Bennett. Mm -hmm. And um, we, made a, we, took, we made a video of all your photos. So let's oh. take a look at that time lapse from Naked Face to Chevy Chase. Here's Nate's No Shave November journey. <laughs> Wow. You just took like my super sentimental thing and turned it into like this little like comic-y one note. Yeah, well when you see Mike's beard later guys, you'll understand why you just spent a month doing this. Yeah. You deserve a little like Yeah, and his is like, and his is it's like a symphony. Yes. Yeah. His is a, a symphony of a beard. Mm -hmm. Wow, how do you feel? It's been a journey though for you a whole month. There. Yeah. I like that turkey in that one picture. Uh, yeah, me too. Gotta get in the Thanksgiving spirit. <laughs> you do. Time, you guys. Um, what, so how do you feel? What have you learned? What's going on now that you're about to, it's about to. I guess I'm about. just ready to get it over with. And I also don't know what everybody's gonna choose for me. Right. Uh, I've never thought about having these facial hair styles, so uh, that's cool. Try new things, right? Right. Put your vote in the chat. Pick one, two, or three. Okay, again, your choices for the look. Nate is about to get via a razor in my hand to take on the streets of New York City are one, the Honest Abe, two, the Hulk Hogan, three, the Guy Fieri. Vote for your favorite in the chat. Write down one, two, or three so we can tally them easily. We shave Nate when we return from this brand new video from the Crazy McMahon. Graduation usually means it's the end of something, but this is just the beginning. You coming to our party? Nick Mayhem! Nick Mayhem! But you said no, no, nah, he ain't playing! Are you guys coming to my party tonight? It's the last one before we go out into the, the world. Mixer. I have no the STDs! Mixer. We got Jolly Ranchers, you Inside like Zemas, Ro You like romance bitches? We're getting girls to do body shots with other girls doing body shots. We have girls do the elephant walk. You don't know what that is. I have no idea what that is. It's when one girl puts her thumb in another girl's butt and they walk around. Great job in that play this semester. Shakespeare isn't easy. Yo, are you guys going to stay together after graduation? Chug, 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 chug. Okay, so you come in first. We get it done. You go home, shower, come back. When you come back, bring more chicks with you. Oh, okay. Are you down? So it's like a train. 
Yeah, yeah, we're gonna run trains. Jello shots tonight. Congratulations. You know Johnny Date Rape's gonna be in the building. Oh, nice. Just came back from the pharmacy. Okay. I'm still undecided. Even though I graduated, I'm one of those rare breeds. We're gonna get chicks going down on each other. We're gonna shave some bitches. We got a trampoline. I got a whole refrigerator filled with meatballs. I'm gonna have you throw them at people in the middle of the night. The girls, right? Yeah. Indeed. I'm throwing water balloons at my dick. There's these other guys that are doing the same thing, and they're much more exciting. What, what are they doing? The same thing. Like, except they're dressed in astronaut suits. Are they? So they want to take me to the moon. Take me to the Hi, I'm David Cross, and you're watching my damn channel live. OK? That's all right. Is that one all right? I hope you've been voting in the chat. You still have time now to vote to shave Nate as either one, Honest Abe, two, Hulk Hogan, or three, Guy Fieri. As soon as I get him all ready to be shaven, we'll announce the winner. I'm just saying goodbye a little bit more. It's all in here. First off, OK, so we're setting up the barber shop. Nate, I want to make sure that your clothes don't get. The trash bag? Yep. Okay. No, it's a, it's a oh. Bubba Gump bib. Oh. There's Nate. I'm gonna take the hood off though. Why, where did you get uh, Bubba Gump? When you eat it, Bubba Gump, they give you this so you don't get butter all over your clothes. Oh, I guess that's kind of what's happening, right? Okay. okay. All right, so you're all set there. Now, how are you feeling? Like, what's been going on? And what are you, are you going to a wedding this weekend? Or? What, are you, what are you doing, babe? I'm like, it's what they do when you go to a hair salon, right? That's what no, they're like, we don't do that at the barber shop. No. Barber shop. Yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. Um, we can be barber shoppy. Yeah. You look nervous. I know what we can a little... do. Let's do this. Here you go, Nate. I want oh. you to calm down because yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. this is a Poor large master. shot glass. <laughs> That's a big one. Mm. No, just... He's going to be fine. I want you to be a little less nervous, and I'm also quite nervous hey, wait, as well. Whoa, whoa. Uh, you should probably have a steady hand when you're doing this, so maybe okay. wait till after. Yeah, right? sure. Okay, Nate, I'll wait till that, because I should probably... Yeah. I don't want to make you more nervous thinking that I'm... Uh, even though yeah. I am quite nervous about this, it's fine. We should put this on, because your eyes are making oh, me feel right. like you're judging me with... Um... Kind of relaxing. It... So, it just, it was just like... What was you... that? Uh, can you take it off? I'm a little nervous now. Can you just oh. take it off? Sure. I can... I actually you don't like that? Does that make you more you? nervous? A little bit, yeah. It's fine. All right, well, here's what we do next. Shaving cream. This is the first time on the oh, show okay. that we've used shaving cream as shaving cream. Yeah, and it's not just been like in a whale or on the ground <laughs> exactly. or something. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I go just for it. go like this. Mm, I guess so. Mm. It smells nice. Okay. <laughs> it's like putting whipped cream on a pie? Uh huh, I guess so. Is that what so. this is like? Uh, I don't know what putting whipped cream on a pie oh, is like. Oh, sorry if I'm getting that all in your mouth. <laughs> what, does that, what does that taste like? Soapy shaving mm, cream, probably. It tastes huh? like the shower. Just kidding. Ugh. All right, you're all set with that. I look like I have this another beard. Life. You do. This is a your I feel Santa like a, Claus in the making beard. Like Bill Murray in Life Aquatic or something. All right. So the next step is um, <laughs> to get into it. How's it sticking on there? Oh, I, need I to think get it's more good. Stash. You're good. All no, right. We're fine. <laughs> okay. So now we just do this. How does this work? Boom. Wait. Boom. You're using, whoa, whoa, you're using an electric razor? Yeah. It's you more fun, right? Yeah, like but a you, toy. You can't use shaving cream with an electric razor, but. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Oh, well, then let's just It's okay, because I think you over-applied anyway. <laughs> oh. Shh, Nate, it's okay. Shh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I saw that go in your mouth. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here, go spit right Can in I there. Can I have another shot to cleanse the palate? <laughs> sure, I'm Nate. kidding, no, just... Sure. Here's a big towel. You okay. really got a lot. You gave me a lot. I got it up your nose. Mm. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you couldn't put that on and then shave it right off at that. I thought, Here, I could, I thought I could that an electric razor, you, you just, it would just, it's really easy. No, it's no, hard, right? get, like, gunky. Oh, I have a hot towel for you. Oh, you do? Okay, yeah, this is oh, a, good. to open it before it's. Good, God, that! So Where did you so get a hot. boiling towel? And in, it's been in boiling water. We have a great production what? quality here. I didn't see them very, do very, that. This one's, this one's a cool towel. Is it? That's good to open up your pores. Is it? Though. Okay, oh, God. It's good to open up your pores yeah. to get the, um, mm -hmm. Here, so I'll, scrub I'll that down. Do it. Uh. Is that enough off to shave now? Because I think it's time to get this puppy shaped up I on your face. Time, yeah, I think I'm loosened up and right, now I'm a little less face. afraid of the actual shaving. And oh, you just, needed a little yeah. um, palate cleanser, right? Oh, yes, please. You're, no problem. That's how good of a barber I am. 
This bottle's really bottom heavy. That's why it's hard to pour, guys. Just gonna give you. I need oh, you to have still maybe have to assist okay. me. So I'm not trying to give you a halvesy. All right. I got it. I. You guys. I think your pores are really open yeah. from that hot towel. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. I think you're ready, ladies and gentlemen. The winning look for Nate's face, voted on by the people, is. Guy Fieri! Is that Guy Fieri! All right, that, that's just one of them. Obviously, most people voted for Guy Fieri. Okay, oh, so good. that means, wow. I was kind of hoping for the Abe Lincoln because it'd be less look, less of a work for me. I Either way. But okay, right. we're going for the Guy Fieri. So that means... There's your reference. So I don't use this part? You gotta use this part. Never done this, but I <laughs> shave my legs almost every day. Every two days, ladies, right? Um, so I'm pretty good at shaving, but I never use... I use this thing? Yeah. Okay. It's the trimmer. <laughs> oh boy, this is like a bad how-to video. All right. No, this this is a great how-to video. <laughs> this is all you ladies for the first time shaving a man's face. I will show you how easy it is. Okay. All right, turn it on and I'm just gonna go really slowly, right? Yeah. Okay. Real Say goodbye to your beard. Mm, ah! Goodbye, beard. Ooh. Oh, that's easy. Yeah, you can go a little, you can push a little more on it. It's fine. Oh, can I? That's what you there say. There you now. go. Okay. <gasps> It's coming off! Oh God. And this doesn't, you don't, you sure you don't need shaving cream? It's, it might have helped. Maybe it helped loosen it up a bit. I don't know. I'm, Are you sure not... I shouldn't put some on now, though? No, definitely don't do that. This is... See? You guys all have three hours right now scheduled for this? Tell me a story, I'm, Beth. Okay. Um, one time, uh, I was shaving a duck. No, that's terrible. Why would I ever do that? I don't think that's a story you tell when me when you're shaving When did you start shaving, shaving Nate? Oh, this I is getting more and more remember. easy. I understand. I feel like maybe I did it in uh, middle school at one point just because I saw my dad do it, and then like that gets it started. You know, I had like peach fuzz or something. Yeah. And then after that, you just kind of it just became a habit. You know. This part's hard as the neck. You need to really yeah. <laughs> just just go like that for me. So what was that you're saying about going against the grain? Yeah, it oh, helps. I oh. just pulled a hair. It's I fine. Felt it. It's fine. It didn't hurt. Go ahead. I heard you Be brave. Didn't take a breath. Be brave, Beth. All right, I'm gonna just go for it. Okay. But slow. You're like, you okay. Probably get, you should probably worry less about the neck and do the other side now, okay. or do the rest of the side, yeah. Hey, I, this is the important part. I have to get this off. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do this. You're doing a good job. Thanks, Nate. Okay, let me check out Guy Fieri for a second. Oh, Nate, you gotta grow this longer, stronger, Almost. wider. All right, we're gonna do this better. Over mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm. um, oh wow! I just went. For you that. don't need to go that high. Sorry, that I just ruined your face. I don't I know. I just chopped off one of Nate's sideburns. <laughs> it's okay. It's it's gonna go be a good memory. Probably. I just ruined. Nate's just thinking about how like. Oh. Just ruined his whole hey, look. Hey, we have a comment. Okay, good. You read it. I'm, I'm gonna toss it up while you're busy. She's using the trimmer attachment. Ouch, says Slappy Lawrence. Oh, I thought that was your ouch. <laughs> no, it doesn't actually hurt. That's the easier way to do it. If she used the other thing, it would start yanking hair out of my face. Is that what you want? I don't want to do that. No, well, you're good. Yeah. Oh, That's thanks, the best Nate. way to do it for the fine tuning. So, oh, do, so do you use the little tricky tool part? Tricky you tool part? Tricky, this part. Oh, oh well, that's on. Yeah, it's on. They're all on. Yeah. I'm like, sh I'm my, my, like my butt is shaking. I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> You don't tell somebody you're shaving that your butt is shaking. Oh, sorry, we're almost done here. Almost. I don't. I'm too. I don't know if I can do your neck. That scares you me. You can do the neck. You yeah. Can do it. What do you think, guys? Go for it. Yeah, go for it. Up. Mm. Oh man. Okay. Now I'm a little nervous. Yeah, because I like have you in a chokehold. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm not looking. What? <laughs> Watch what you're doing. Oh, there's shaving cream. Uh oh. We've encountered the shaving cream again. Oh, we have a Twitter post, comment, question. Mike O'Connor, don't, don't shave, shave Nate, Nate. Nate. I know, when we told Mike that we were shaving Nate, he got very upset. I'm sorry, Mike. How are we doing? I'm we need sorry. you to grow this, and we need, we need to make this white. And we need like check marks here that there go There we up. go. There it is. This is how you make it Guy Fieri. But we need a little Ah, more. look, spit an image. Yeah, did I do it, Nate? You, I think you look amazing. Take me to a Denny's. Did it? I'm sorry that I maybe shortened your sideburn. You look fabulous. 
That's You're about to see what Nate would look like if he didn't shave for 30 years because up next, we're joined by Mike O'Connor from IFC's Whisker Wars, the second season of which started last Friday night. Get your questions in for him about bearding and about the show right now. If you've never seen Whisker Wars, here's a clip. Uh, I was told in Portland, in the Portland competition, that I stole a signature move but I also did it wrong, so my plan is tonight, I'm stealing JP's move. I'm borrowing Alan Demling's move. And I'm combining the two where I will do it, and I'm gonna point at Mr. Jack Cashin to the guns. Go for it, baby. Go for it. <laughs> you have to choose. It's either me or the internet. Hmm. Your ex-girlfriend sounds like such a bitch. <laughs> I know, right? Uh -huh. hmm. Hey, I'm Michael Showalter. You're watching My Damn Channel live. Hi, I'm here with Mike O'Connor from IRC's Whisker Wars. Welcome, Mike. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Our pleasure. Um, <laughs> you guys, now is your time to get your questions in for Mike. Put them in the chat right now. Mike, we're letting the internet have at you in a minute. Mm. But first, I have some questions. So Whisker Wars just started its second season last Friday night. What, how is life different for you now that the first season has aired? I mean, I assume you were always someone who kind of got second looks. Yeah, I, my biggest thing is I don't know if people are actually like staring at me because of this show and they recognize me or if it's just because I have a beard. Right. It's like, you know, when you see a bunch of Asians, you know, it, <laughs> you're just kind of like, I don't know, they, they all look alike. And it's, it's like when somebody says like, hey, ZZ Top to me, it's just as offensive as if I said, hey, Jackie Chan, you know, like right. we all kind of feel like we all look alike. Right. So. I hear you. Um, what's that so offensive? <laughs> I'm just gonna no. Uh, we understand that. Yeah, we want you, your own beard. You are your own beard. Speaking of, yeah. So who's your biggest rival on the show? Uh, uh, this season, it's Jack Passion. Jack Passion. Jack Passion. Oh, there he is. Man, just flaunting that red beard. He has no mustache. There it is. He has you no have mustache. One heck of a mustache. So tell me, you trim this part? No, not at all. You don't have to trim this. No. I, 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 I part it to the side so that I can give kisses, smoke cigarettes, and eat food. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, if if I go on stage, I'll but pull I mean, it all the way it, down. But I mean, wouldn't it be this, as long as this if you didn't do something? No. That's not how this hair grows. No, it's mm, okay. the body. Let's talk about the show. So last season was maybe not successful for you in the competition, mm -mm. but successful for you as a person. Yeah. He got, he got engaged on the show. I did. I, and now you're married. I uh, proposed to my, uh, well, now wife. Right. Um, and now we are married and have a kid. And we met, actually, in 2009 at the World Beard and Mustache competition that was in Alaska. Wow. So, you know. That's a know. good place to find love, I feel like. Absolutely. It was beautiful. The sun set a little bit because it doesn't go down all the way. <laughs> And then it goes back up. <laughs> uh, so we're sitting in a hot tub together. Look, it's a sense. Uh, looking at kind it. Kind of. Yeah, we fell in love. No, in a hot tub in Alaska, it sounds like a recipe. What, she's your beard coach? Uh, yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> so a beard coach basically, she actually has a, a like a Batman utility belt. Okay. That has all sorts of different brushes and combs and, you know, hairspray, things like that. And, uh, and then, you know, she helps everyone else. But then when it's my turn to go on stage, you know, she gives me the nice encouragement, make sure that I look the best that I possibly can. Like, like what's an encouraging phrase to give someone before a beard competition? So, okay, well, she has really, she's Polish. Okay. Uh, so her English can be broken a little bit. She's been here for 18 years or so, but she still has that Polish tinge. Uh, and, and she'll, baby, your beard looks the best out of everyone. Oh, good, I that, get that it. That was almost Russian, So it's like actually. a confidence builder. Absolutely. That's what you need from her, mostly. Absolutely. What are, what are your strategies for the second season? Like, what, what what do you do going into a season of bearding competitions to really... It's, you know, it's like, difficult. It I different? have no idea. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> uh, a, lot of, a lot of things that I do to personally get ready for a competition is weeks in advance, I'll start to, you know, really take a look at, like, what split ends I have. Okay. Things like that. Uh, I do a hot uh, oil treatment once a week on my beard, which is jojoba oil. You put it on, you, you wrap it in a plastic bag around your face, uh -huh. and then uh, you just kind of blow dry over it, and it heats it up, it protects the I can tell you've beard. done some hot oil treatments. 
Can I touch it? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Right? It's nice. It is nice. So the hot oil treatment, and then like, that it's helps. just, when was the last time you saw your face? Well, I've always had facial hair of some sort at any given Maybe like time. Four or five years old. Yeah, yeah, probably about that long, mm -hmm. about fifteen or sixteen years mm -hmm. or so. So you always. Oh, wait, that's I don't know, I'm almost thirty. I have no math. No, it's fine. No it's math. Better, it's better to not know <laughs> those years. When, once you get past like the last time I just... had it all shaved off, shaved off was about four years ago. I went for a job interview. I had long hair, um, and I had a you know maybe a beard about this long. And uh, I was like, I'm gonna go in shock and awe. I showed up in a suit and tie, cut my hair, shaved my beard, and I didn't get the job. Which is good, because now I'm on TV. Then you figured out what your true potential was. I'm on TV, was. and I'm on my damn channel live, yeah. and that would not have happened. You, you, well, maybe there'd be something else you'd be doing, but it wouldn't be for this. Mm. You don't want to see those tapes. Okay, you're right. Well, besides not shaving, what are some other tips you can give young men, like future beard growers? You know? Um. My biggest thing is... Is there a diet at for, you know? Beer. Beer. Um, I, I, take, I take vitamins. I take omega-3s, uh, whether they're in pill form or, you know, with the food I eat. You know, I try to eat healthy. I'm really not that healthy. So I supplement so with, with, with vitamins. Mm -hmm. uh, omega-3s, uh, vitamin E, fish oil, things like that. But ultimately it comes down to... <clears throat> excuse me. You're excused. Thank you. <laughs> it, ultimately, it comes down to is, is whether or not you have good genes. Okay. If you don't have good genes, you might not be able to grow something so spectacular, but there is hope. I don't know which camera to look at, but there is hope. Give it maybe about six months. I say at the minimum six months, give it a year. See how you really look in whatever facial hair that you're going to grow. And then just kind of, if you might not be able to grow, obviously, something like this. Right. You know, not everyone can. Because either you got it or you don't. So the exactly. It's like, you got it or you don't, but wait six months to find out. Right. And if, and if you have something good going, you know, you might want to grow it out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Or, like, you might not have a whole lot of beard going on, but you might have a glorious mustache. Right. You have both. I also like how it's two-toned. It, it really is. I don't... It's really... I don't dye it. I'm not guy. Yeah. I mean... This Just does, don't sue um, me. Yeah, no, we won't. Definitely not for that. <laughs> does uh, does Jack Passion dye? His beard is so red. And his, there was that. Was that a sh There's some controversy. I think he might dye it. Okay. I think he well, might. Maybe spread the rumor. We have another quick look at the show. It involves Jack Passion. You guys are gonna understand a little more of what's happening here when we talk about Jack. Let's show that clip. <laughs> My famous beard swipe. That's a Jack Passion move. You don't steal from the master. It's like a girl with nothing up there trying to show off some cleavage. After a final inspection by the judges, the competitors leave the stage. As soon as Jack finishes up on the stage, he makes a straight beeline towards me. Mike. I love that thing you did when you were up on the stage. I like that you're trying to steal my move. A move, like a beard fluff that everybody does. I think you picked some bad friends. They might have influenced you against me, and that's stupid. It's just stupid. I've, I've okay? never said that I'm against you. Congratulations on your daughter, OK? Think of the kind of father you want to be. Of all the things to say to, to bring my family and, and bring uh, what kind of father I want to be to my unborn child. All right. It, that totally crossed the line. Until he admits his mistake to me, I'm not gonna let it go. Whisker Wars. This time, it's personal. Fridays at 10, starts November 23rd. Hi, my friends. I'm back. I'm joined by Whisker Wars competitor Mike O'Connor. You probably have lots of questions for Mike. I want to see them. Mike wants to answer them, so get him in the chat. Um, we, have, we have a Twitter question right now. Twitter! This is from Jack Passion. He says, my mustache says, hey, guys. <laughs> <clears throat> but it says it in a little kid's it's, voice. Yeah, that's why I said it. Hi, guys. But hi, hi Jack. <laughs> All in good I, I can't fun, grow Jack. a mustache either. All Try as I might. Mike, my first question for you before we begin, some other questions, is uh, can I French braid your... It's okay if I, if I can't, because I understand, you know, it's a, this is like your tool in life, mm -hmm. but can I maybe French braid your hair while... Is there a difference between a French braid and a regular braid? Uh-huh. Oh. Sure. Oh, but it just means that it starts and then I gather hair as I... As 
to go. I have no idea what that means, but, but at I'm some gonna be point, really, really gentle. At some point, I'm pretty good. I'm, I'm down for it. You're, you're not down for I'm it? I'm down. I thought that was like a very passive aggressive way of saying, <laughs> I'm not down for it. <laughs> I would love if you did. Don't do it. No, no, do it. Mixed messages. I'm gonna do it very gently. Okay. We have a comment. Oh. This is from Brittany Mungo21. Can Beth braid your hair in a fishtail braid? Yeah, okay. Thanksgiving, I did that. Oh, Thanksgiving. So you did, someone braided it? My mm -hmm. wife. Yeah. I, I, you know, I braid it when I have to. I, I have a baby now. She's uh, five months. Uh, and so she, when I hold her, she likes to grab on. Who and, wouldn't? Right? I'm fighting she's it like right a little, now. She's so like a little bad. monkey. And she wants to climb up on daddy. And so I have to braid it so that at least she doesn't get caught also, so okay. much it's into been, it. It's been braided. Yeah, it's been braided. I'm very good at French braiding. But I never had someone like it facing me. Usually when I French braid, that means I have to turn around. And this is just kind of too. If you do it from behind. Well, when I'm doing it on a girl. Oh. And I was in the basketball team. You I'm know, a boy. Than, yeah. I know. That's why I really want to just get in. Are we doing this right now? Yeah. Do it. Well, we, but you can keep looking at them. So um, you have the New York City beard competition coming up. Can you that is correct. That? <laughs> I'm going to be gentle. Um, so, okay, yeah. Uh, December 8th, which is next Saturday, we have the New York City beard and mustache competition at Warsaw in Brooklyn. It's in the Greenpoint neighborhood. Mm -hmm. uh, it's $15 in advance, 20 at the door. All proceeds go to the MS Society New York City chapter. We have 13 categories, two women's, which are most realistic, most fantastic. You need to be there. What does that mean? That, uh, what I just explained. Most realistic, most fantastic. Oh, yeah. I got gotcha. you. So it's a fake beard, mm -hmm. unless you have but a real beard, the realistic which is ones. awesome. Yeah, I do want to see this. And there's a few that have, I've seen them. They have beards. They have real I beards. They're in the competition. They have to... So we have 13 categories. We're going to have uh, pierogies, uh, belly dancers, bands. Those are types of beards? Of raffle. No, just kidding. <laughs> we have a comment from YouTube. This is from Travis Oliver. Mike, do you think we'll be drinking at the Warsaw the entire night or jumping around after that? I've got some people that might meet up, up later. Very technical, good question. Are you going to hang out at Warsaw after? Are you going to go hop around? Well, fortunately, this year we don't have a curfew. So we could be there all night. But I am going to make a special hashtag on Twitter uh, so you can keep up with us. It'll probably be like New York City Beards, uh, and you can follow us and uh, find out where we're going to go. But it's there's a meet and greet on Friday, the day before, so you might want to come to that. Sounds and like then Saturday, the competition, and then there's a hangover brunch on Sunday. A whole weekend. Yeah. This is awesome. I also love that it sounds like your fans know that whenever you have an event, that it's not just going to the show. It's a whole night of partying and having fun and hanging exactly, out. Exactly. Celebrating beards. Yeah. It's, it's a lot great. of fun. Here's another Twitter question. This is from um, Brontus Orango. This is my first time watching a live comedy show on the internet. Zzz. You're taking my live genity. Popped. <laughs> I hope it was special. Me too. <laughs> Sorry to bring out the razor on your first time. Eee. Yikes. That's not the first time from, no, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what you're doing. Is this working? Yeah, well, it's got, there's the tangles in this set. I'm trying to be very gentle. It is uh... working. This is beautiful. Gosh, your hair is amazing. It's so like uh, resilient. I feel like even though it's like it just has an interesting texture, but it feels like you can tell it's been through a lot, seen a lot. And it's, it's traveled just, the world. It has. <laughs> and has met a lot of really good people. Especially down life. here. Yeah, the so down this here hair is like part. seeing your teens. <laughs> Maybe. Right? Maybe. Here's another Twitter question. This is from um, Joshua. Jenkins, give us tips. Bluebeard's any good? Cool shower wash with bluebeards, blow dry, wonder beard brush. That was the, is that the Jehovah. hot wax? Is that Jehovah. the hot wax you're talking wow. about? Wow, you, you've pretty much said everything yeah, that I, I know absolutely the recommend. Are there any tips um, beyond those? I would say, like, definitely use bluebeards, or if you're going to wash your beard at What's all. Bluebeards? Bluebeards. It's, they actually, it's a beard uh, shampoo that you use to clear out any impurities that are in your facial hair. Uh, the best thing is, Obviously, use something that doesn't involve a lot of chemicals, things like that. And you want to be able to make sure that you rinse it out very well. I would suggest trimming split ends, and that's the only trimming. Don't trim the mustache. You know, don't trim anything else. Nate, I'm looking at you. You had to do it. Uh, and then definitely, uh, you know, use jojoba oil. You can use your, either use it one of two ways. I do a hot wax once a week, but I also put it in daily as well. It, it just 
creates a protective seal around your, your facial hair. And you want to be able to do that uh, because you're, you're, you're going to run into impurities anywhere you go and you want to protect it as much as you can. Yeah. What, ha what has happened? I mean, you feel like this, this must be hard to carry around every day. Absolutely. Has it, like, has it gotten in your way when you're... Well, I live in New York City, uh, so I take the subway. No, don't everywhere. even tell me. And I've, no. you know, you're standing there at the at the doors as I often do because I like to be able to, you know, run out just in case anything goes down on the subway. And I'm standing near the door. I think you know you can't and do the, that. The motion. thing makes a noise, and uh, and then all of a sudden the doors close. No. And but there's a gust of wind that just no. happens to, no. and then got caught. My beard got like caught. like where here. It got yeah. It got caught about this much. And I'm standing there, and I'm like, oh, man. Were you more what fearful, do I do? Were you more fearful that it was going to pull on your face or that you were going to lose that part of your beard? Uh, both. They're both. both scary. And then I thought it was, you know, you know fires were going to erupt and, and people were going to panic and trample me. I, it, thankfully, it was only between 1st and 3rd Avenue, so I had That's still two enough minutes, time for two panic. Minutes. But it was, it was, you, luckily, you gotta be, you gotta be aware of when you wear something this tall. No, luckily I've got tall, you travel, big. I've got you travel safe here. Look at that. Look at that. I'm like, I'm like three years little ago. Little bun. Oh my God. Here it is. Um, here's a Twitter question. <laughs> you got I don't a little know what to say. I know me either. <laughs> the Chloe and Lilish. What's the weirdest thing you have found in your beard? Um, traveling a lot, I've, I've had to go through TSA quite a bit, and um, <laughs> I had forgotten I that I like made this. a joke to a friend of mine. I said, watch this, I'm going to just. I put a cigarette <laughs> in my beard, and I said, "Watch! I don't, either they'll find it or they won't." And I want to see if they if they're going to really do their job. And so I, I go through, and I, I refuse the body scanners. Refuse the body scanners, uh, and I, did, I had to do the pat down. And the guy the guy was talking to me about my beard and everything, and I was like, "Yeah, you know, this is what I do. I you know go to competitions, whatever." And then he finally starts to make his way up there, and then he's like, "What's that?" I'm like, uh, what do you mean? And then he pulls out a cigarette, and I go, oh man, I totally forgot well, that I had that in there. And he, but he actually he had to test it for drugs because he thought I was mm. right, truly really trying to sneak it in there. Yeah. Which you know, whatever. Also, yeah, you, you have you a 50 go 50 a shot better. that you're you're gonna either get caught or not. But like you think you, I mean. That he'd know that you'd think a little, maybe not. I guess you could stick, stick you things can, in You can stick things it's in It's a great tool if like you're eating dinner at someone's house and you just don't quite like it or they didn't know, you know, you were It's, it's like the, the Seinfeld episode. Oh, mutton. Mm, yes. And you hide it away. I do not want to eat that. <laughs> Are you glad it's winter? Is it, keep, is it probably keeps you warm? Is it tough in That's summer? That's the great thing is, is in the summertime, all of the people that pass by me on the streets, they want to say a little comment here and there. And they're like, hey, nice beard. Why don't you shave that off? You know, that's my New York accent. And, you like <laughs> uh, and, then, and then this past uh, a couple weeks ago, right after Sandy, we had that yeah, nor'easter. Mm -hmm. And I, like the trains were down and stuff. So I had to walk a mile from, as if it's a big deal, but a, a mile from the train station to my house. And it was, oh, it was just snowing everywhere. And everyone's like, oh, I'm so cold. And I'm like, I'm like in a t-shirt and shorts. You know, You're like, you got your blanket when you need it. You can just yeah, go Yeah, it's it. like, I don't have to, my face is warm. And that's an important part of your body to keep warm. Absolutely. So. That's why we wear the. Summertime, it sucks, but whatever. You know, you, you learn to deal with Good it. Good thing you live in New York. Yeah. Until it becomes summer all the time. We're not worried about that. Global warming? What do you think about this? I like it. I like it. And you could, if you keep it in for like a day, it'll become. It's it'll off get, to the side. I know. It's because I, I, I was, it's I was over here. No, it's fine. I like it that way. His character. It looks more like an elephant trunk that's like in, in motion. That's the second time today I've heard elephant trunk. The other one was about like the finger up, up the butt, <laughs> which I laughed at by the way when I heard that. What, is that a thing? That I don't was, know if I should have heard more into the, this. The graffiti thing. You said that it's, I, I don't know. On your show. Oh, oh, um, that, right. I thought you meant it was like a, like a, okay. There's a real thing. There is a graffiti. I, know, I was like, I don't know of this. Of a finger up somebody's butt. Yeah, gotcha. But if you leave this in for like a day, it'll become crimped. Like, you know, I don't know. I used to do this myself all the time. My, my braids too. I think you, kinda, like a you day probably becomes, still do it, right? You don't say you, yeah. you used to. Yeah, I just don't do it as often, only just because I don't have time. But if you leave a braid in for a day and it gets, all, it gets nice and like crimped and it has a kink. Mm. Could I don't be, like that. I don't know, maybe. I'm offering free beard tips just for like adding new style in like 2012. I like it. I have a lot of fashion tips. There's only a few weeks left in 2012. I know. 2013. Look it's forward to the future. It's over in 2013. The crimp look is out. 
<laughs> That's all I think we have for beard info. Um, so you're on Whisker Wars on IFC. Mm -hmm. IFC is so awesome. Friday's at 10, 9 central. Season two just started last week. Where else can people find you? At the New York City Beard Competition. At the New York City Beard Competition and your Twitter? on December 8th. Uh, my Twitter feed is Mike, M Y K O'Connor, O C O N N O R. Sweet. You can look up the Gotham City Beard Alliance. Yeah. Uh, and go out and party yeah. with them. That'd be fun. Party with us. I want to come. I, re I really want to go. It's see a lot of fun. And see it's a real lot lady of beards. fun. It's like a dog show for men. <laughs> and awesome. the women. And the women. And the women. That's what I want to see. Okay. Good luck this season. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. When we get back, more of your questions about anything. We can even bring Nate back out if you want. You can see him again. Um, <laughs> I forgot that I changed his face. I just got a glimpse. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I've still got a. Brand, we've got now. I've got a brand new episode from one of our favorites. Dan St. Germain is kicking Dan out, and this one's called Shell of a Mormon. Wow. Hello, sir. Do you have a few minutes to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? You mind if I use your bathroom to take a shit? Kicking Dan out, kicking Dan out, kicking Dan out, kicking Dan out, kicking Dan out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, we at the Church of Latter-day Saints believe that the Godhead is divided into three parts. God the Father, His Son, Jesus Christ. Just to let you know, there was a piece of shit clogging the toilet before I got in there. That wasn't my shit. This is Dan. He's a new recruit. Hey, is this a communal inhaler? Uh, I have asthma. I have Check asthma. out how long I can hold it, all right? No. Oh, slow clap. Slow clap. Nope. All right. Ram jam. Ram jam. <laughs> <laughs> What a lot of people don't know about Jesus Christ is that he, he is... was ripped. Well, Jesus actually was in good shape, but it had that, that sexy man V that leads to the crotch area. Guy had avatar body, unbelievable. Sir, do you mind me asking? Do you live alone? My wife passed two years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. Two years ago? Get back on that market. Fetch that titty, as Whoopi Goldberg would say, and how Stella got her groove back. We are in end times, and ultimately there's only one way to stave off temptation of Satan, and that is to... Rock and roll! No, no. It is to follow the word of Christ and preserve yourself a place in the New Eden. New Eden? Is that where those 40-year-olds go to fuck on real sex? Excuse me one second. Oh, man. Dan, you need to take this more seriously. I'm wearing the fucking outfit. Your, your name tag says... Pussytron 3000. I've eaten pussies while the machines rise, motherfucker. Dan, Dan, get out. Just leave. Fuck you, dude. I'm a fucking Scientologist now. That's right, I'm gonna fly around in a spaceship and keep people from knowing which self-hating celebrities are gay. Fucking NBA Jam, slash Space Jam, slash Michael Jordan, slash X Games, to the wild fucking cherry Pepsi Max. You don't have enough money to be a Scientologist. I can read, okay? That's not what I just said. Whatever. <sighs> Sorry, I thought that was an ale or it's computer dust remover. It's pretty fucking good though. You guys wanna hit? Kicking Dan out, kicking Dan out, kicking Dan out, kicking Dan out, whoa, whoa, whoa. Looks like a V, right? Like a like a really fat V. Mmm! Make me feel good! Monsters ball style! Hi, I'm Gilbert Gottfried, and you're watching my Damn channel live. How are you guys doing? I tell you what, I'm glad I don't grow facial hair because like I have to wax and pluck it because it's not socially acceptable for women to have hair except these women who are entering the bearding contest. But I do think it'd be really fun to like grow stuff on your face and have choices like a beard or a mustache or I could just French braid my hair or dyeing it like we're gonna dye Nate's beard like I Fury. My face doesn't grow hair like that, though. But what I can do is show you what it looked like with all different kinds of beards. So I brought all my wigs in. While I do this, you can ask me anything. It's question time. Nate, why don't you come out here so I can toss all the hard questions to you? I haven't looked at it again. Oh, God. There it is. <laughs> Guy Fieri. That's Guy Fieri, right? Right. It's just okay, like good. Dive-ins and uh, <clears throat> dumpsters and drive-in dumpsters. Dives, right? <laughs> dumpsters. Dumpster I don't know. He, like, dives into dumpsters and pulls <laughs> out food. Dumpster diving. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Here's a Twitter question. This is from um, Ty Joa. Beth Manichel is wearing a Dr. JP and Mr. T-shirt. 
Yeah, I am. That's Tyler. Tyler from DJP and Mr. T. He's the T. This is the band we play. Um, I was, They're in our pre-roll music. Um, that's the, yeah, it's our pre-roll music. Uh, <laughs> it's our best boobs. I just yeah. like, okay. Uh, right over, yeah. I'll, um, we, this is the music we played before the show. That's their band camp. Check it out. And that's their site. And they have all these awesome t-shirts and so many, yeah, and we love them. And Nate just got this from when he was home in Thanksgiving. Yeah, they played a Sandy Relief show. And I was like, I gotta get a shirt for Beth. Yeah, Nate has cool friends, you guys. And, um, they're good people. Yeah, they are good people. I'm like them. So check out their site. And that's awesome. Here's a comment from YouTube. Stephen McCade. Uh, Mike, what competitions do you have coming in 2013? You coming out to LA in June? Mike is still here, guys. Hey! Hey! Uh, I absolutely plan on coming back to LA. I was there in 2011 for my bachelor week, mm -hmm. which ruled, and I got second place. Uh, I was not able to make Too it this year. Too much memories going on in that one. Uh, but I, I do plan on coming back out because I love the LA club. Those guys are so awesome, and they're very welcoming. Uh, any competition? Even Jack? He's not in oh, a he's club. Lost then. He's not in a club. Oh. No, 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 oh, no, no. He's no, no. just because he can't Jack be in a club because he's his own. He he's his, his own, own thing. Yeah. Promoting Sorry his own to bring him up. self. Yeah. Uh, but but you know, I'm here for the clubs. Awesome. Yeah. So when is that? The date? Just, I have no idea. idea. Oh, you don't Whatever. Know. They'll, they'll announce soon, okay. and I'll be there. Sweet. There's another comment from YouTube. This is from Vanessa Schneider. How's Nate gonna stay warm without the beard? I'm gonna stand really close right, to walk, mics and just, with yeah. Do you want to do this all the time? Oh my god, can we just go everywhere this feels like this? So Nate, right. he's married. <laughs> but we're That's just okay. friends. It's okay. It's just keeping him warm. Yeah. It smells good. It Can smells borrow, like right? cigarettes and beer. It smells great. Oh, oh man, that's I what did a beard smell should though. smell it like. It smells like weekends. <laughs> it smells like weekends. <laughs> <laughs> they can go out on weekends, not me. <laughs> Mine didn't get long enough to absorb the smell, mm, unfortunately. That's what you think. Ooh, and she shaved Just kidding. Ah, she did. Oh, Nate, you should, I'm gonna take a picture. Oh, right, we need a gram. What is so neat is the update Boom. now from... Do I leave? No, no you can be in this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did we make it awkward for you? That's how Nate, that's how Nate hangs out at parties. There we go. I feel like yeah. Matt Robbie at the debates, right? Like, uh, <laughs> did I just get my ass kicked? I think I want a redhead <laughs> beard pick. You can do it by... This is my Claire Danes wig. Want, do you want help? Yeah. Here. What do you want me to do? Yeah, you hold it. Why can't I flip it around? All right. You no, can do it. Oh, okay. Are you going to do the Donovan? It takes three people to do it on Instagram. I got it. I got it. No, this is even better. Oh. That's pretty. Oh, that's great. There that's you pretty. go. It, I like oh, that. Oh, it's so good, you guys. Mm -hmm. My Instagram is Beth and Show. If you want to <laughs> find this. In case this. you're wondering. It looks really natural. All right, that's fine. If you fun. enter with that, put mine on. You might get an awesome trophy. But then I have to show up with it, right? Well, there's got to be some sort of testing to make sure, like a little tug tug, make sure it's not no, a no. wig. No, you can do whatever you want. Well, I'm entering with that then. Here's my picture. I got it. I'm going to enter the contest with this one. Here's a comment from YouTube. Uh, Kevin Palencia, is there a secret to growing in growing your beards? I feel like mine's thin. He didn't finish. No, he didn't finish typing. What happened? I feel, feel like, like your yours problem didn't... with your beard is your lack of commitment in general. <laughs> yeah, that's pro that I would say that's probably. I accurate. think that if you couldn't finish the comment, maybe you just shaved too soon. Finish what you started, buddy. There's no secret. There's no secret. You just grow it. There's no. Well, except for the secret you said earlier, where that was either you have it or you don't. Well, that's not a secret. That's kind of, you, you grow people, it and you're like, ugh, I look fucking horrible <laughs> in a beard. <laughs> and then you grow, you shave a mustache, and then you're like, man, I... And you're like, this is hmm, even worse. Magnum P.I. <laughs> Who wants to sleep with If you me? can grow a Magnum <laughs> P.I. mustache, you probably look good with a beard. I think. I don't know, you might still have a bald spot down here, you though. Look, it's still the there. I would have never known still, had you not pointed yeah, you that out. Right? See it. It's still there, though. Like, would people grow around that? Is that a normal thing you would do instead, just kind of like hide it? Because, I mean, maybe. You, you could hide it. You can yeah. hide it. Okay. I would, you know, there, have you seen that great product? It's spray thing. You can just spray that on there. <laughs> spray on there. And it there. looks like spider legs. And, wait, 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 wait. wait. What you is spray this? spray and, and the spider legs come out of the can or whatever? Yeah. It's, I don't know what it is. It, there's a dude that's bald that is recommending it on the late night infomercials. Oh. Which I've seen drunk on a Saturday night. Sure. No big deal. Okay. And you just, you just, yeah, I mean, you can put it on your head, obviously. Well, wasn't but, the bald yeah. guy, put, the bald guy was like, I'm, bu I'm but I want to fix this. Yeah, yeah. He's all like bummed out. He's like, oh, nobody wants to sleep with me. And you're like, well, that's it's because you're bald. I don't Larry know, David. I think, wait, so he had, so it sprays little like. It sprays like some sort of. Thing and then and then it, it look it, like later literally they show the scientific graph picture of it and it's like little spider legs. If any of you guys I mean, have information about this, I'd like to hear anything else about it. I'm interested in what's happening. 
with this spider hair on the face. Because that'd be a great way for me. I could have done this episode with the beard today. Yeah, I don't know why you didn't. Yeah, we should have talked to you earlier about that. It's like putting a chia pet on your face. Here's another comment from YouTube. It's from Taylor Weldon. Oh. Like, Kama Siwa loves you forever. Love you, yes, please. Who's she? Okay, Who's I have to explain this. This please, please. is an inside joke within the, the beard community on Facebook. On Facebook. I don't know if you guys have, if you can say Facebook on this. You, yeah. Facebook. It's internet. Yeah. YouTube, all that shit. Uh, on Facebook, we always joke. get, uh, all the bearded guys get um, uh, either messages or friend requests, also accompanied by a message from Kamasiwa, whatever her name is. She's ba she's like like this Indian woman, you know, who looks mm. like middle-aged, like normal, oh, no, like Indian again. woman, you know, making food. And she, like, loves us. Like, she loves all the bearded guys. I don't know if she's a fake account or if she's real and she really wants to be our friends, but it's mind-blowing. You ask anybody, anybody, who has a rather large beard that does this stuff, and she is constantly... It's her thing. It's like an outside enthusiast. She loves enthusiast. us. She wow. loves us. So I think in 2014, you might see a beard competition in India thrown by... Kama Siwa, or however the hell you pronounce her name. She, what would she do if she threw a beard competition there? All of you, all of you bearded men around her, she might just explode in a. Would fit you go? Would you I go? Would, I would absolutely yeah. go. I would go to India. Does, absolutely. Does te does, is there a team India though, or? Uh, there should be. There should be. And okay, I think I think that like... she might have some connections that we can do this. Oh my god. I gosh. think she's a ticket to India. That'd she be really loves us. Be amazing. It's so weird. That's good. What a good fan. Uh, <laughs> she's consistent. She knows her type. Here's a Twitter question <clears throat> from Bert Mayer. I have a bald spot in the same spot, but I still win trophies. Uh, I am a personal friend of Bert. He's a rad dude. Do you know um, his spot? Um, it's, the same, it's, 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 it's in the oh. same little area. Does he, he's, he seemed to have a mustache he, in that picture. Here's now. the thing. What, what, what Bert does... Look over there, dude. What do I do, Bert? <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> What Bert does is he grows all of this out, right? Mm -hmm. And he grows some of this. But he also does what is referred to as freestyle. Okay. So he does things like, you know, he'll, he, I think it was in New York last year, he did brass knuckles out of his mustache, right? So he did brass knuckles there and did some like crazy swirly things down here. You don't have to have, mm -hmm. yeah, again, I want to emphasize that you don't have to have something as large as all of us, but you know, Try something new. Rock what you can. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to do that anymore because you were shaved. No, now he's, time. I have nothing now but time, he's, man. I can do it. It only took a month to do what he just did. This was a month. This a was month? like 28 days. 28 days later. later? Yeah. Oh, man. Here's That's a, inspiring. Yeah. Thanks, man. <laughs> you can do it. You can yeah. make brass knuckles in your face. Oh, my God. And not real ones because you don't want that to happen. So, like, it's just like the shape of the. Yeah. He originally, because last year actually. A lot uh, of hairspray or. Uh, either hairspray or wax, yeah. Last year we, we, we were giving our uh, proceeds to the Keep a Breast Foundation, and he was originally going to, it was either him or one of my other friends, was going to do the word boobs in his mustache. I There's love a that. lot of creative things you can do. You never know. It's he, did, he didn't do that though? Uh, I love that. I, th I think he did the brass knuckles. Boobs next time. Boobs, boobs next time. Boobs, boobs, boobs. Here's another comment from YouTube. I almost, I try to start that chant boobs. every show. This is face boobs right here. Yeah, okay. You stare at it. Yeah, oh, that's true. Right. Here's another comment. This is from Luna's Badman. Magnum P.I. or Ron Swanson? Ron Swanson. I don't know. Magnum P.I. is a great... Ron, Ron Swanson does have a power Ron stash, Ron Swanson, though. It's the power stash. But it's so, like, I feel it's like a lot of people grow that. And it's very uncle and daddy. Um, not daddy, but the, why, but, like, dad-like. Mm -hmm. But... Me, Ag and P.I. is I'll like only that. some men can, I meant like dad, like dad like. D-A-D-D-I? Yeah, like that. Keeping it real. Not with a Y. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but Magnum P.I., it's like only a certain type of man can grow that. With the, It's like coming over the top of his lip. That's different. I, I vote P.I. So you guys are both Swanson. Swansons. It's personality. Mm -hmm. It's about personality. Ron Swanson is hilarious, which makes his facial hair even Not better. It. That's why if you have a poor attitude, who are you looking at? <laughs> oh, just you guys. Your beard you know looks who you are. Horrible. And mustache. And You're lack right. of mustache or whatever. Yeah, it is it is a person that carries on the facial hair. <laughs> I'm not talking about anybody in particular. Can anybody hear that whisper I just did? We all can. I have a mic, yeah. <laughs> we all can. 
Um, yeah, so anyone, I guess it's just the, the lesson of the show is own your facial hair. Exactly. Man or woman, and it's personality that matters. Totally. And you can't help it if you don't have good facial hair. You got it or you don't. Yep. All good lessons learned <laughs> today's show. This show has really been killer. Speaking of killer, here is the season finale from Status Kill. This is called Quitting. See you in a sec. Why do they make it so hard to quit a social network? And even when you try to quit, the damn thing won't let you. Are you sure? Why well, don't you come back in two weeks? You're two weeks late? Oh, you logged back in, so I guess you wanted to still be here. No, I want to quit. I want out. It's affecting my personal life, and now it is affecting my professional life. All right, Doc? Now, look, I want to I wanna stop. I see. Would you care for some water, Mr. Sparks? Sure. So, is this what brings you here? You want to stop using Tweetfaster? Yes. What if I told you that we don't want you to quit? W what do you mean? Without people like you posting mundane... Everyday mind. ...nonsense? The network would slow to a crawl. You're not gonna help me, are you? Oh, we're gonna help you. We're going to help make you a faster user. We're going to help you become one with the social network. Sleep well, then. Soon, you will post while you slumber. Surgery prep in progress. Get the implant ready. Really? Do I even know you? I just want to eat your window. Sheila, what's wrong? It's nothing. This picture is Great. Hey, Daddy. Stop. Where am I? You belong here with us. You have checked in at Troll Reinforcation. Triton likes to go outside. One does not simply wander into Troll Door. Triton likes to play the playground. Oh my God. I'm inside Tweet Faster!
post this. Thank you for watching and for commenting and for just being yourselves, wearing whatever you want on your side of the computer screen, not picturing it, not picturing, I'm picturing you, I'm picturing. Me? No, I'm picturing one of the, no, I can, I'm, I can picture you. You're right here, you're gonna dress up for today. <laughs> this is dressed up. Yeah. <laughs> your beard looks good and braided now. I know, Thank see, you got a fancy do, fancy updo. I'm gonna hire you. <laughs> you want money. I want a French braid <laughs> in the front. Anyways, it's been really fun. Nate now looks like Guy Fieri. We just need to bleach that tip. A little bit, uh, yeah. I think I'll take Nate out for a drink now. I'm not going to, like, sit near him, I'll, but I'll buy the first round. That so, sounds about right. Yeah. I'll, keep <laughs> I'll get a drink for that guy over there. The one who looks like Guy Fieri. Yeah, I'll get that. Um, so, <laughs> His shitty Sorry, restaurant dude. in Times Square. We could go there. Yeah, you'll get us free food? They might think that you're oh, him. Oh my god, I need to freeze cocktails and everything. We're gonna go frost my tips right now. <laughs> I want a cocktail this big. Maybe we can get it there. <laughs> subscribe to this show, subscribe to Nate's vlog, OK Nate. Watch Whisker Wars on IC. Root for Mike. Thanks again so much for being here, Mike O'Connor. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next Wednesday. We've got another big, fun show planned with lots of time for questions from you guys. And in the meantime, tweet at me. Find me at my vlog, Beth and Show. Subscribe to that. And don't for a second think it's too early to listen to Christmas music. You're doubting that. I, a little bit. Psst. Don't even. Don't even. Don't doubt Drummer it. boy? Don't. Yeah. Well, that uh, one, yeah. Rup, rup, that's the rup, worst rup. Christmas music example. That, Don't no, listen that's, to that that's one That's a classic. Ever. No, that one sucks. What's your classic? Oh, Holy Night. I need the Home Alone soundtrack. Home Alone. Don't even well, get me started. Yeah, great great movie ever. Episode. I will say this. <gasps> Home Alone 1 and 2 are the exact same movies. I'll give you an instance. We were so close Home to Alone, being so Home Alone in such agreement. Home Alone 1, he says, Whoa. oh, kids, we got to come back at night. Kids are afraid of the dark. Home Alone 2, Joe Pesci says, oh, he's in the park. We got to go after him. Kids, kids are, are afraid, afraid of the, of the park. park. Shut up, Mark. It's You're a cartoon. Afraid of the dark too. It's a cartoon. No, it's a real amazing. life cartoon. <sighs> That's it for the show, you guys. Thanks for being here. Sorry, Nate. Bye, favorites. Sorry.